Funding for the following is provided by a grant from the Lincoln Financial Foundation. Hi, my name is Brian and I'm here today to show you the proper techniques of welding a single V groove weld using the shielded metal arc welding process. First you'll need three pieces of material, two pieces of half inch, three by six, which are beveled each at 30 degrees. You'll need a backing strip, which needs to be a minimum of 3 16 for the shield metal arc welding process. You'll want to be sure that you grind off the mill scale on the front of the backing strip. On the front of each bevel, about an eighth of an inch, and on the back of each bevel, about an eighth of an inch. This is going to help your weld get better fusion and penetration. Next, it's time to tack the pieces together. I've brought some spacers, which will allow me to level out my pieces. We're going to be fitting this up with a quarter inch root opening. And I've got another spacer for that, which is a quarter inch thick. You want to center this the best you can on the backing strip because we're going to be using the beginning and the end of this backing strip, which is slightly longer than the pieces that we're welding. Now we'll start by putting a tack weld on each corner. Next, we're going to go ahead and tack these pieces together. I've decided to use a 6010 electrode to tack these pieces up because they tend to burn a little bit quicker and start a little bit easier. After tacking your pieces together, you're going to want to go ahead and remove the slag from the tack welds so that they don't become entrapped in the weld pool. Usually this is done by just a chipping hammer and a wire brush, however mechanical means can be used such as wire wheels, needle, guns, and things like that. Leaving behind even just a little bit of slag can cause a defect a spot of incomplete penetration, incomplete fusion. If the weld were x-ray, it would be picked up on the film because you cannot burn slag out. Once it's in there, it's, it's going to stay in there. The only way you can get it out is to grind it out. <laughs> 